Hi there, it's me Justine. I decided to do a video about the corona immunization. Um, if any of you are interested in it, then watch this video and you will find out what happens. Um, basically, um, we got asked at school yesterday if we wanted to get immunized and I answered yes without really thinking about it just thought well I'll decide when the time comes and then about six hours later I was sent the documents um, per email to read over and informed that the immunization would take place the next day so it goes pretty fast so be prepared for that um i made sure i didn't go out drinking which i wanted to do actually <laughs> i thought oh no i'd better take it easy um went to bed early got up in the morning felt a little bit panicky about it googled it a little bit on the internet and then it was already time to go there and it was at a primary school all of the other teachers from school were all kind of bunched up together and there were apparently 900 people there throughout the day. So it's a pretty big action run by the army. So loads of soldiers everywhere and they were all very friendly and helpful. And basically it's just a huge, big bureaucratic procedure um, you have to make sure in Germany that you have your Impfpass, so your vaccination document, that little yellow booklet. You have to make sure you've got your identity, your identity documents, so either your passport or your um, Ausweis. Um, you also have to have your Krankenkasse card, so your healthcare card. Um, apart from that, bring a pen because there's lots of stuff to sign. Um, yeah, so first of all, they put us all in a long line to get our temperatures taken, which they did with a little infrared thing in the ear. And then if you don't have a fever, they send you through to the next desk. And there you um, give your papers to someone who checks them all and makes sure that you sign your documents. And they witness that and stamp it and put it into a little envelope for you, or well, quite a large envelope. And then they send you to another desk where there's a soldier doctor sitting there, like an army doctor, army physician. And um, then you discuss if you have any previous illnesses or if you take any kind of medic medication and ask any questions. And... Um, then you get sent through to a corridor um, which has um, nurses, little pairs of nurses behind each door. And um, at one point the nurses come out and say, next please. And then you go in there and you have to free up your non-writing arm. And then I'll see if I can find it, even if you can even see it. Can you see that? I don't think you can even see it. it doesn't even make a mark it's an intramuscular um vaccine so breathe out like relax your arm otherwise it'll hurt and anyway i did that i breathed out <sighs> pretended i was a balloon that was deflating and closed my eyes <sighs> and that's all i concentrated on and then they injected me and then it was over and there was no pain like in some vaccines that i've had None at all. I didn't even need a band-aid. I was amazed. The lady was really professional. And um, then I left and we all went into a big dining hall and were seated for 15 minutes where you have to stay um, just in case you have some kind of um, strange symptoms or something or faint or whatever. And then um, after the 15 minutes is over, you're allowed to leave. And that was it. So, yeah, that was my experience.